Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro. The Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture, impressive. All right. A lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Spasibo for the inside tour. You really make the reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> oh, she actually wants to be friends. Excellent, a volunteer. Sounds like a few. There. The fertilizer is working on the plants as we speak. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest.
There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. By slaves. And keep Dusty on power. Essential to killing Yarns. Imagine this cube is Yara, a country rich in technology, <laughs> agriculture, and spirit. One man combined these things, resulting in an explosion of innovation. You're really a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm developing new methods of delivery for Vivido. We're working on a nasal spray, transdermal patches, and chewables for children. I love my work. I'm helping heal the world. This could happen. I hear even more now than before. The door is quite detailed, see? Don't worry. You get cocktails after this. And this ends our tour. But before we go... A surprise! Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind the Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rome. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a... Uh, I see. Sneak peek. So peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. <laughs> Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Vichu to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So what now? Take it as it comes. We got this, stay on your toes.
Oh, don't, don't shoot! I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave! Where was it? Get shooting! True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Daria, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh. Oi, let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello?
mother is there. I knew Talia would get Maria eventually. She's had her sights on her for a while now. Hola. Que vola. You're the real dear Rojas. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Clara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck. I don't think there ever was a plan. We can still get some good out of this. Maria's execution must have shook Anton. I'll believe it when I see it. Talk soon, Clara. What did you find for me? You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Awful before Viviro, awful after. Maybe, but the work was more honest. You kept everything you earned. You do remember how much you complained before Anton took over, right? See, si, but that was the fucking weather. And before that, my fucking kid. Please. 
place is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for Paolo. Where are you, Paolo? Go find out.
Lost them. Hola, Rojas. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Bicho. You got Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a sec. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho! I'll call you when I have him, okay? Love these new phones. They're so thin. <laughs> My pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best death subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. Ah! Ugh. <sighs> 
That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers. Daniel, come on, Cody. You're in the safe. You're with me now. Uh, he put something in me. Oh, God. He put something in me. Get out to Matias. Fucking go. Oh, okay. Okay. We meet there. Uh, Matias. Need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. He was fucking hell, doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay. You need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Take a moment then, for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This is a real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. Uh, how was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. Uh, I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Danny? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. After the bullet went into my brain, I could still see. I lived just long enough to watch you and Lita leave me behind. Alejo, please, stop. Danny, 
You're next. Paolo, keep her steady. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us <laughs> out. <laughs> Not like this, not like this. We were supposed to come together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny, drop the knife! I can feel, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Oh, how's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Oh, fuck. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Danny, Pichu's gone crazy, screaming about Bembe, blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Good luck. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. Bicho! Bicho! You crazy come me. Where are you? Mm. So, Bembe is buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the Rodeo. Give me some Bavira off the top, huh, Bembe? I should check that warehouse. If I find Bembe, I find Bicho. Be alive, mi socio. Oye, Paolo. I think Bicho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid come mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Bicho's no match for someone like Bembe.
Looks like a deal that went bad. Real bad. The dog. Now, what do we have here? Looks like one of them is dogs didn't make it out. Hey, perro. Good boy, pinga. You idiot. Coño. This place is a fucking war zone. What did you find for me? some shit to sell to Bembe. He just set the bulls loose on everyone. What a way to go. Then they got spawned. Too close and too dangerous. Paolo, the little maniac sabotaged one of Bembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose as some kind of rodeo. Repinga, he's going to get himself killed. I won't let anything happen to him. They're serious.
kill me. I did nothing. Easy. Just tell me. A crazy kid come through here. Talks a lot. Hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See? Si. And then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe lives? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is. But it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go. Paolo, I know where to find Bembe. Then that's where Pichu will be. Exactly. Sit tight, Paolo. about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on a plantation. That's Picho struck. Picho! Picho! Picho, what the fuck? Get out of here, daddy! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off. Like, oh, I'm not! You don't think I will? Huh? Picho, listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest. A parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right. Bicho, just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not a bug, man. You're not Bicho. What's your real fucking name? You wanna fix something? Pull that trigger. We need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Bas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're Bas. Your name is Bas. You're not Bicho, man. You're not a bug. You're Bas. And I need you with us, okay? You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. out of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh, fuck. Thank God. And Bembe? Still alive. Still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many Bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Danny! How is my patient? Alive. Gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's these scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good 
situation here. Dahlia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. Hit these three checkpoints along the road west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. Dahlia's life depends on it. Is that perro friendly? Oye, Matias! I got the mess. Muy bien, Dani. Bring them to me and Daria. Hurry, for Dalia's sake. See you soon. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. Si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Bebiro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias has intel. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. <laughs> I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now that Mama and Papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Boom, boom, come. house. Being a true Yarin pays off. Should check inside. Hey, it's Paolo. 
just thought you should know what kind of monster Sergio is. Como mierdas carried out thousands of fucked up experiments on our kids. Giving kids Danny. It's fucking sick. And all of it just to make Bio Vida rich. Coño. I got to get this piece of shit. You will. Suerte. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Where did that fucker go? Should look around for clues. Bob, did you send backup? See, si. let them take care of the soldados. Just focus on finding Sergio. Gracias. Sergio, it's the guerrillas. The guerrillas are onto you. Come to me and we will provide the protection you need. Castillo can't afford to lose you, and neither can I. We have so many more trials to complete. Yo de putas mi tip. Me cago en su madre. He's on the run. Oye, Matias. Someone warned El Doctor that we were coming. Sergio was on the run. Pablo and I are our way. Don't let that piece of shit escape. He's a fucking murderer. Get to the marina. Sergio might be escaping in his boat. my dog. is fast.
motherfucker. Get the f Concussion, grade two or higher. Laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Vivero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to this skull. Shit. Hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Well, look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. See you soon. Building 13. This is it. Vivir. We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. Way in is with a gun. This place is built like a bunker. You'll need to find a clever way to get in those buildings. Got it. What's your head, Daddy? No!
Wolf. It's worth the shot. This will get me to the roof. A Yaren. I'm just a med student. Oh, shit. No dispares. Oh, no, he's a monster. Hello. If you could see this. Lab. All his experiments. Keep your shit together. Is the doctor going to die today? He's going to fucking die today. Give them help, Paolo.
away from me! Operating on someone while they are still awake. Where are you? In the well is the sensation of slowly parting skin. is dead. Yes, Danny. You fucking did it. What are we going to do about all those people? You just did the best thing you could do for them. Now, we have to get out. Relájense, mi gente. Juan is already on his way with a helicopter. Juan? How the fuck? You think I wouldn't find out what you kids were up to? Wipe that stupid look of your face and clear me a landing zone. Paolo, meet me at the helipad. And Juan, gracias. The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. Because tomorrow she'll be fucking somewhere else.
You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. but when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Picho. Si, Capitan. Queen Clara. I mean, Hefa. Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest Comandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's no Pedro Torero. Exactly, Dan. La revolución vendrá. <laughs> mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos. Y aquí venimos <laughs> para luchar. True, Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego. Si, sí, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm. Did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I am ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, chest up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. Con puños arriba, quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso seguimos tomando la lucha diario para todos. Nos escucha de guerrilla radio. I know Paulo's got a lot going on with that. But we need all hands on deck. 